How many parents do we have in the room here? All right, how many former children do we have in the room here? Okay, good. That's all of us then. All right? Question. If your parents approved of everything you wanted to do when you were 13 years old, would they have been loving? No, of course not. Love doesn't mean approval. Love doesn't mean enabling people to do evil. Love means you're standing in the way of evil. If you don't, if you approve of everything some kid wants to do, you're not loving, you're unloving, you're an enabler. In fact, in the passage that everybody reads at their wedding, but nobody obeys, 1 Corinthians 13, here's what Paul says about love. Love does not rejoice in wrongdoing, love rejoices in the truth. Love always protects, love always perseveres. You don't protect people when you're approving of the evil they're doing. You're doing the opposite. Knock it off. In fact, Jesus, who went to the cross for us, gave us one new command. You know what the one new command is? Here it is. He says, a new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. How did he love us? He sacrificed himself for us. So what is love for us? It means sacrifice. It doesn't mean approval. Do you know, when we fail to say what we know to be true, because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, we're not really loving people. We're enabling them to do evil. And a lot of times we won't tell them the truth because we don't want them mad at us. And you know why we do that? Because we want to take the easy way. We will sacrifice them for our benefit rather than sacrificing ourselves for their benefit. That's what love is, to sacrifice yourself for the benefit of others. So you need to tell people what the truth is in as tactful a way as possible. Here's one way you could do it. You might say to somebody you love who, say, is wanting to approve of, say, aberrant sexual practices. They're all over now. You might say to them, hey, if I was about to go down a road you knew that would hurt me and hurt others and would be against God's will, would you love me enough to tell me? What's the other person going to say? Well, of course. Great. Can I do the same for you right now? Love does not mean approval. Thomas Sowell is now 94 years old and says everything well. Put it this way. He said, when you want to help people, you tell them the truth. When you want to help yourself, you tell them what they want to hear. How often do we tell people what they want to hear? Oh, we don't want to risk the relationship. Well, what kind of relationship do you have anyway if you can't tell them the truth? What are you risking? And by the way, Jesus wasn't always nice. Jesus told people the truth. In fact, if you think Jesus was a nice guy who's never said a bad word about anyone, you have not read John chapter 2, John chapter 8, or Matthew chapter 23. Jesus was not Barney. <laughs> Can't we all get along, boys and girls? No! I came to bring a sword. It's going to divide mother and daughter, father and son. How often do you hear those passages talked about? But most of you in this room know those passages are true. Why? Because you're divided in your own family over Jesus. Guess what? You ought to be. You ought to be following Jesus and not the world. Jesus did not come to bring unity, not with the world. He came to bring unity in the church, but not the world. So Jesus was tough, and he didn't approve of everything, quite obviously. In fact, if love required approval, then Jesus was unloving. If love required approval, then you couldn't love your children. Now, you love them when they're little, but when they become teenagers. Yeah, you love them, but you don't always feel like you love them, right? You probably never thought of abandonment, but you thought of murder several times. If love required approval, you couldn't love your spouse. You couldn't love your enemies. How do you love your enemies if love requires approval? In fact, God couldn't love you if love required approval. Love does not require approval. 